So we were on a beach in Cuba and I felt a pain kind of low down, uh, a sharp pain and a lump. So I was like a bit concerned. My health deteriorated quite rapidly. You know, I'm not even 40 yet and what's going to happen? I felt really like this this disease, this illness is is taking over my life. I'm losing out time and making memories with my children. It got to a point where she was like, I want to donate. And I was like, no, I'm not, I, I won't let you do it. And she was like, well, you either struggle and it breaks my heart to see you struggle or antibodies had developed so much to um, my wife's blood group they said if we took the kidney out of your wife and put it in you within 20 minutes your antibodies would attack the kidney it took me a while to get my head around I'll be honest I was like okay she goes well look at the end of the day I'm saving somebody else's life but it also means you get a matched kidney back so she's like, it's a no-brainer, really. <laughs> Which, when I looked at it that way, I thought, yeah, okay, you're helping two people, not just me. Professor Nicholson did did our surgery at the time, and amazing procedurally. But he was like, it's like plumbing in the washing machine. He goes, it's you have the kidney, you've got two two valves, a vein, and an artery, and it's just about plumbing it in. So we found out that my wife's kidney went to a five-year-old girl, and it made it more special the meaning of what we did we don't know her name we don't know where she lives but she's doing great uh, and i found out i got my kidney from a gentleman from southampton i think who was 37 at the time so he'd be 40 now to get a new lease of life it is like having a new battery put inside you